Hi there. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the atmosphere and we're going to look at depressions and anticyclones. So areas of high pressure, anticyclones, and areas of low pressure, depressions. If you'd like some more of my videos, check out our website, examvision.ie, YouTube, and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So, depressions and anticyclones. This is a topic that sometimes students uh, think is kind of difficult, but it's really not that difficult at all. And hopefully after today's tutorial, you will find it really simple. So the first one is a depression. So a depression that is equal to a depression is an area of low pressure. So an area of low pressure. And an anticyclone is an area of high pressure. Okay, so that's the important that's the first part, and it's really, really important. So anti anticyclone is high pressure and a depression is low pressure. Okay, so what we have here is you've got a depression on the left hand side here, so it's an area of low pressure, and on the right hand side there's an anticyclone and it's an area of high pressure. So what is, we'll, we'll look at an anticyclone first. What is an anticyclone? An anticyclone is an area of high pressure and what happens is it's a result of cold air descending down on the Earth's surface. So cold air dropping down on the Earth's surface, like pushing down on the Earth's surface. So when air descends, it gets warmer and condensation is unlikely, so clouds don't actually form here. So when you have an anticyclone, usually you get nice dry weather. How I always remember it is, anticyclone is high pressure because there's more pressure being put on the Earth's surface. So the next one is a depression, okay? And a depression is an area of low pressure. And what happens here is, it's when the warm air is actually, uh, rises up, okay? And as the warm air rises up, it cools very quickly, condenses, and usually cumulus clouds form. Winds tend to blow uh, into low pressure areas because air uh, moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. At depressions or areas of very low pressure, usually you get um, lots of clouds, windy and wet conditions. Okay, so I've made a few little notes here for depression and for anticyclones. So if you'd like to take those notes down, please pause the video and you can do this now. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you is a weather map. Okay, so this is what we call a weather map. And as you can see, we've got the occluded fronts, we've got the cold fronts, we've got the warm fronts, and then we've got all these lines of equal pressure. And these lines are called isobars. You can see the L, L stands for low pressure, and you can see the H, H stands for high pressure. What is an area of low pressure and what is an area of high pressure? Well, an area of low pressure on a weather map is anything that's below 1,000 millibars. So if it's below 1,000 millibars, it's called an area of low pressure. And if it's above 1,000, it's called an area of high pressure. Okay, that's it for today's uh, tutorial on depressions and anticyclones. As I said, this can be one topic that students find a little bit tricky in the exam, but it's really not that difficult at all, and I hope... For my tutorial, you'll have found it quite easy. Um, if you enjoyed my video, can you please leave me some feedback on my YouTube channel? Just, you can comment underneath or you can just like it. And if you'd like some more videos, go to our website www.examrevision.ie where you can find loads more videos on all topics for geography. We've also got some maths videos up there now. And if you'd like some, um, some tips or updates, uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.